Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. And we are back again from back porch setting here. <laughs> That's right. Kind. And you even can rock today. So. I can even rock today in my new rocking chair. Is that not special? My new old rocking chair. It even has your name in it. even has it, my so. name. How Appalachia is that? It doesn't get any more Appalachia than that <laughs> right there, I'm telling you. <laughs> yes. You just got a 50 points in your Appalachia account. That's right. All right, good deal. And the voice already gives me like 200 points. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're right there. You're a pro level at this point. That's right. Anyway, what are we going to be talking I can even crank it up a notch if you need me to. <laughs> I can too. I can drop mine down. Not really. I talk too fast. That's my problem. I got an accent. Yeah. I just talk fast. Yeah. I don't know why. But anyway. I'm only on this earth for a little while. <laughs> what are we talking about? We thought that we would talk about our favorite places in mid-Appalachia to go to um, in the summer specifically because some people have commented and talked about coming to Appalachia for vacation yeah. and we thought that people might like some good ideas about yeah. where to visit while you're in Appalachia yeah, or where to come to in Appalachia. We get questions about moving and all that but we also get what would be a good little stop you know for if you had a day or two to spend. Yeah. So. I'll let you kick off with your favorites then. So, my favorite, one of my favorites in Southwest Virginia, our homeland, is Hungry Mother's Park. Mm -hmm. It is featured in our book coming up, Legends and Lore of Southwest Virginia, oh, yeah. on how it got its name. Yes, but we will blow that, that here, yeah. Yeah, beyond that, it was one of the first state parks in Virginia. So it's historic, it's got a legendary name, but it's just a great place to visit. My family would go every summer and cook out, and they have like paddle boats on the lake that you can ride paddle boats, you can swim in the lake, they have a little man made beach. It's just so much fun. If you love hiking, it's a great place to hike um there's a peak called molly's knob and it has spectacular views so for me it's just everything getting to eat swim hike all that good stuff paddle boats i love it yeah you can't beat it as paddle boats is my favorite for sure but you got to be in a little bit better shape or you'll, to to, well, you'll get gassed if you're well you'll end up with like me you'll be on a boat with about three or four people and you're the only person <laughs> paddling that's well, what happens to me well maybe so but yeah i like the beach and it's a fun it's a clean park too so it's right very here. clean great staff yeah great kind of along those same lines and i don't think you have been here if i'm not mistaken pipe stem in princeton west virginia i have not been there we're in athens down in that area but you know it is yeah. very similar to hungry mothers but it's got something that i like about it too it's got this little tram mm -hmm. that you can go down the side of the mountain and to the bottom and that sounds like fun oh yeah like it's, the thing at gatlinburg yeah uh yeah well you're not got your legs free you're in this like container it's almost oh, like okay yeah. yeah i've seen those yeah it's pretty cool and yeah. i always love that and then it's got all kinds of little things you can do cook out and uh at various times they have paddle boats i don't know about it right at this time too you might want to mm -hmm. check before you go if that's what you're going for but great place for cookouts frisbee toss throw baseballs volleyball all that stuff and yeah. a lot of hiking horseback riding which i think oh I that's neat yeah yeah so yeah it's a great 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 place and that's in west virginia up in mercer county so and i didn't think to mention but hungry mother's park also has camping they have yurts that they rent out if you're interested in coming down and renting something like that they have cabins mm -hmm. and um so you can stay on site there at hungry mother's park there's just a little distance out they have a drive-in movie theater and like stores and all that too oh yeah so i don't know does that place have camping and all it does that? it has camping and it's got a hotel and all kinds of stuff a lot of golf people play golf up there and everything oh that's so, cool yeah. it's really okay. nice really super nice place i don't place. know how i haven't heard of that i don't either i don't but anyways i learned something new yes you did um sticking in southwest virginia right now for me one thing that i love is the creeper trail in abingdon oh, yeah. um it runs for miles actually starting at white top mountain and goes through damascus and to abingdon and it's just a great hike i've said for years now that i was going to have somebody park at one end and me park at another and <laughs> walk from one end to the other and like pack a lunch and just make a whole day thing of it but there's biking on it a lot of people do the bikes down the mountain yeah um i can't ride a bicycle and even if i could i'd probably be too accident prone for that but i just think that that's a great like day activity and in historic abingdon so 
if you start at the top of the mountain, they say the biking isn't all that strenuous either. It's not like you have to be in some yeah. like Greg LeMond out there trying to do it or whatever. But yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. I got to say, I know, well, we might as well get it out of the, out of the way because if you're going to be in this area, you definitely want to check out Dollywood. I know. You know, I know how, can you not, how can you not say that? You yeah. Know? And all of Pigeon Forge and even yeah. Gatlinburg is great. If you've never been there, then that would be my very first destination that I would tell you to go to because it's, yeah. you know, you've got a lot of, um, of course, the, all the rides and stuff at Dollywood, but there's so much more around Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, the whole area is just amazing. So. And you have never been to Splash Country in Dollywood. No, I have not. Or it's like the side of Dollywood. Yeah. But yeah, um, Splash Country is great. There's a new water park down there, Soaky Mountain Water Park. They have some hotels that actually have like little water parks in them. Mm-hmm. So just great family fun. We talked about this on another video, I think on Real Shane and Melody, how it's kind of changed a little bit, yeah. but it's still a good place for families. You've got to go yeah. to Dollywood. If you've never been, you just have to. It's, you know, it's just, and you get to. some cinnamon bread. I've not done that yet, so you got oh one gosh. on me. I know. I know. I had to get cinnamon bread every time I went. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, Pigeon Forge, they'll have like show they have great shows um you can like call places and get good deals like if you go to two or three at a time great food great shopping Mm -hmm. yeah pigeon forge dollywood all that's great absolutely yeah we kind of double team that one yeah i think you should go next oh you're putting it back on me well since (laughs) we're sticking just kidding since we're we're sticking with amusement parks i'm gonna go with tweetsie railroad then yes that's a great one tweetsie's a good one if you got little kids yeah you know you get a little older it's probably lost a little of its luster but it's a smaller much more manageable park and you know it's great for a little like my daughter's five and i'm mm-hmm. planning on taking her this year and yeah you know she had a blast with it and a lot of times they have themes like thomas the tank engine and yeah because they got the little train that goes around and and they always have the theme of being like a southwest kind of motif yeah and so that it's just fun my cousin that like went too. And, yeah my cousin matt went and he sent me a video from they still they have like the outlaws on the train and stuff they actually do a real good job with that they really do i remember that from my childhood i always loved how the cowboys would get on there and i think that appalachian state uh students that are going through like acting are the ones that mostly work on that i did not know that we went yeah. to halloween yes you know, getting off topic but uh, that was great I, yeah it's, it's a great little park i'm just glad to see it still hanging in there so that's yeah, a, yeah definitely so all righty it's back on you okay um, so my next one would probably be the Beckley Exhibition Mine. Mm-hmm. Um, it's only open in the summer, and they had a great little museum there for kids. You can go watch that video and get a little bit better glimpse of that and how that was. And also the Pocahontas Exhibition Mine is only open in the summer, yes, right? I have exactly not been right. through it, but I think that that would be great. And there's also ATV trails around the area. So there's a lot of like little Airbnbs. If that's kind of your thing to do, like the side by sides, mm-hmm. ATVs, or if you want to give it a try, give it a try. Absolutely. And yeah, Pocahontas, I went several times before they, they remodeled it a little bit. So I haven't been yet. I want to check that out. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple here in East Tennessee that I've been to that I don't know the more day trips I guess not something you'd come and spend all night with but I definitely loved 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 I took my daughter for the first time this year that little dino land oh yeah uh, this, di- this guy has created all these dinosaurs yeah and that if looks like so much fun oh it is if you got a kid that's into dinosaurs at all they are going to have a field day there because it looks like a zoo for dinosaurs of course they don't move they're not animatronic but they are you know they're they're there and I mean I'm talking T-Rexes and the whole nine yards yeah and it was a wonderful wonderful place to go yeah and that the admission is five bucks well even that's a donation there's not even usually somebody there you just it's honor system and i absolutely loved it because i didn't you know i didn't realize what to expect there and then along those same lines is the uh Bays Mountain Park in King's Yes, Park. that one's a great one. Yeah, they yeah. have a planetarium. Yeah. Uh, and they got a lot also of, great hiking there. Great hiking, great place to cook out. They got some animals mm-hmm. that you can look at, some you know, wolves and all that. They kinds got wolves. Yeah. Wolves. Wolves? <laughs> yeah, wolves. Is that a dog or a... <laughs> No, a wolf. They got owls too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they do. Those owls are cool. Yeah. They have some monkeys. They got a little barge. They have some monkeys. I don't, they got, I don't think they got monkeys. I think you're making that up. They got deer, though. Okay. Snakes. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't want to turn people off. So well, we got snakes everywhere. So. Yeah, we got snakes everywhere. So yes, yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. All right. Okay. What about Creation Kingdom Zoo? Where is it at? It's over in Nicholsville-ish. Nicholsville-ish. Snowflake area. 
Yeah, it's a little... And it's really close to Natural Tunnel, Yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, so tunnel. those are great if you're in that area for just the day or whatever. Yeah. Those would be good. Check those out. Yeah, Natural Tunnel has got the block house. It's a really neat thing, and I won't get into that because we'll probably show that someday and get into it more. But it's also, mm -hmm. of course, got the Natural Tunnel, and it's got a little system, the, um, not tram, but the chairlifts. Yeah. It goes down to that. That's a good Sweet. one. And I'm going to start a rumor here. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that Creation Kingdom bought one of their tigers from the Tiger King. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, that rumor's gone around in there. Because I, 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 if you watch Tiger King, like it has a dot like right where that would be. I know. So I'm sorry, I don't think the rumor. I, know, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if that admitted or not, but I, <laughs> I, when you told me that originally, I was like, you know what? <laughs> Where else in that part of Virginia where they sell something? Exactly. Yeah. So, anyways, if you want to see a real Tiger King tiger. Oh, yeah. We think. Yeah. Yeah. Also, in the very far corner, right on the Kentucky border, you've got Ewing, Virginia, down in Lee County. Mm hmm they got the Wilderness Road State Park, and it is fantastic. they got bison, and they've also got those sand caves, they call it, too. Oh, well, that's neat. Which, it's a heck of a hike. It's a rough one, but... Yeah, that sounds really cool. It is. I haven't done it yet. No. You know, I think you can maybe do it on horseback, I believe, and I, I might be up for that, but I don't I don't see me trotting up that thing for a few miles. But <laughs> Well, I think I have at least a couple left. Yeah. So one is Burke's Garden. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, right. that's great to visit in the fall, spring, too, but summer, I mean, you just really can't go wrong unless it's like a bad weather day in the winter or something, but beautiful down there so beautiful if you haven't been to burke's garden go and check it out you can drive around the loop there's a couple of restaurants with the amish cooking it's great it's just beautiful and it's just if you're into more like laid back trip that would be the place to go yeah absolutely and i also would say then the cumberland gap down it's right in the corner of tennessee and Middlesboro, Kentucky, and Virginia, you may want to check out that park. And then there's Middlesboro's got uh, the Pinnacle Park, I believe it's called. Mm -hmm. You can uh, actually step in three states. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one place. That's, that, that's where they intersect. And then they've got a great view. they got Chain Rock there, and it's just a fantastic place to see. For oh, sure. yeah. And maybe the last one for me, but the Lost Sea Adventure in Sweetwater, Tennessee. It was really awesome. Like, you go down through this cave, and then there's an underground lake, and you take a little boat ride, and you can actually see, like, piranha oh, wow. in the water. It is just the coolest thing. Yeah. And there's several caverns and so forth around here, too. We'll, and kid-friendly. Yeah. We're just scratching the surface here, honestly. We'll oh, wrap, yeah. We'll wrap this video up for yeah. now, but... We hope yeah. this gave you some good yeah. ideas.